you, Lisa, for that excellent review. We're now going to move on to the last talk in this session before we go into the question and answer session. And so I'm going to formally introduce Dr. Abinash Virk, whom we've already met. Uh, Dr. Virk is an Associate Professor of Medicine at Mayo Clinic at Minnesota. And she attended medical school uh, at the Assam Medical College. And, Prince, and worked as a resident and was chief resident at Prince George's Hospital Center. She completed her training, including infectious disease fellowship at Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. And now her current practice at Mayo is uh, multifold. She works at our hosp main hospital, St. Uh, Mary's General Infectious Diseases Service and Orthopedic Infectious Diseases Service. She's also a member of the Travel and Tropical Medicine Clinic, which she implemented and was director for 17 years. And Dr. Virk is going to be talking to us today about leishmaniasis. As Dr. Virk mentioned, we want this to be a very practical session and we want to cover updates. And just over a couple of years, we've had new guidelines on leishmaniasis. So Dr. Virk is going to cover those as well as the general background. Abinash, thank you. Thank you, Bobby. Welcome again, everyone. Um, so, uh, show of hands of how many patients, how many people have seen uh, and diagnosed leishmania in uh, your patients? So few, that's great. Uh, so, you know, again, not a very common thing that we see in infectious diseases, but certainly something that you might land up seeing. And not all of us have access to somebody who is uh, tropical medicine trained, and so. I think these guidelines are really helpful because this is one of the diseases that we can see every so often. So these are my disclosures. I will be talking about uh, uh, off-label usage of uh, the anti-leishmania medications. Most of them are off-label. Uh, off They're not FDA approved. Um, and hopefully at the end of this uh, session, you will uh, be a little bit more comfortable with the diagnostic approach uh, to cutaneous and mucocutaneous leishmaniasis feel a little bit more comfortable with treatment strategies and uh, some of the challenges with the antimicrobials used for leishmania. Um, the guidelines came out a couple of years ago, as Bobby mentioned, and I just want to point out two people that have been particularly helpful to me as we have uh, seen cases with leishmania. One is Barbara Herwalt at CDC, and she's extremely helpful. If you have a patient that you need help with, uh, you can call her. She will uh, guide you in terms of management, and she's done that for me and my colleagues. And the other one is uh, Dr. Alan McGill, um, 